your hands together. Ah, we are going to learn how to clap. So I'm going to show us how we clap in Bankart House. You know, when you go to the eatery, what do you perceive? You perceive food. When you get to the eatery, you perceive food. So when you come to the Bankart House, are you perceiving money? Because you're not clapping. Oh, yeah, clap. Clap, 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 clap. Good. Oh, no. The energy level is 40%. Can we clap again? 75%, 75% is not there. No money yet. Can you perceive? I can't even perceive. Can we take it off? Okay, clap, clap, clap. Let's see. No, 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 not yet. 90%. Okay, let's clap it again. Correct. Correct. Now I can perceive it. Good. So we're going to be starting this event with a prayer. So let me respectfully invite the first vice president, Professor Bias Olariwaju, FCIB. I don't know if you have seen a professor pray before. You're going to see a professor pray now and not just see. So you need to say amen because this prayer is going to be very, very powerful. You have to close. <laughs> 
Shall we pray? Our Father and our God, we just want to give you all thanks today from our heart of hearts because wonderful things you have done in the life of a country. Nobody knew that Nigeria would be at peace at this moment with what we saw last year, the threat that you give us victory. Father, may your name be glorified. We want to thank you for sharing so bankers of Nigeria. It has been awesome. It has been wonderful. It can only be you because we have seen your hands in everything we have done from the beginning of the year up to this moment. You know, raising the bar on every occasion. It can only be you. Father, we appreciate this. We want to thank you for the leadership of the Institute under your son, Dr. Ken Opara, who has been leading us since the beginning of this year from one achievement to the other. We want to thank you for the team. We want to thank you for the management. At uh, this time last year, we were just grappling with transition and we were all afraid. But today, you have turned our fear into victory. It can only be you. May your name be glorified. We thank you for the beautiful souls that are gathered here to celebrate Christ, to celebrate one thing or the other that you have done at the national level, at the state level, at the local government level, and at our various branches. When you open any of the social media, you see every branches of this institute all over the place. We want to thank you specifically for the dinner that took place that became number one on Twitter that day, globally. Father, we thank you. For so many other reasons, we thank you. For being we here today to witness this occasion, we thank you. We also thank you for those who even watching us virtually. You could not make it physically to be this place. We thank you. We thank you for where we are today. We thank you because our future is bright in you. Father, may your name be glorified. As we continue to thank you this moment, we pray that showers of blessing shall be our portion in Jesus' name. And you have confirmed your words concerning us that even with the time of famine, we shall eat in plenty. We have seen it in the life of our institute. We have seen it in the life of our members. And we see it in the life of this nation in the name of Jesus. The era of plenty shall come. I can't hear your amen. Yeah. And it shall be well with you. God take absolute control. And at the end of the day, give us cause to glorify your name. For we are prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Amen to that. So I'm going to be inviting the praise and worship team to lead us up in prayer and worship rather. But before I do that, I want to inform you a few days ago, two days back, yes, I tried to book a flight for an uncle to Anambra, the cost was about 500,000 to and fro. And that is over 100% increase in flight tickets. Now, if we were to travel to heaven in worship, many of us here will not be able to afford that. But this evening, I'm going to invite the team that will allow us travel in worship without paying a dime. So I indulge you to please be very active and enjoy this flight. So the worship team, are they here? All right. Praise the name of the Lord. Let somebody praise the name of the Lord. Please shall we rise as we worship the King of Kings, the Creator of the heavens and the earth, the God that was, that is, and is to come, the giver of all good things, including life. Let's wave our hands unto Him. Let's wave those hands unto Him. Let's wave. Wave unto him. Yeah. Let's magnify his name. Let's give him all the glory. Let's give him all the honor. Let's give him all adoration. Oh, be lifted above all other gods. We bow and worship you. Oh, be 
Let's go one more time.
like a royalty. <laughs> all right, at this point, I'd like to recognize the protocol and all the special persons we have in this house. If you know you're a special person, please put your hands together for yourself. Thank you. On behalf of um, the governing council and then the president chairman of council, you know I have permission to climb this stage. I'm doing that on the shoulder of very strong persons. And so I'd like to specially welcome the President Chairman of Council, Dr. Ken Opara, PhD, FCIB. And please let's do something. When I call any name, put your hands together. Thank you. The thing you celebrate is the thing you attract. If you celebrate something, you attract it. You celebrate a doctor, you attract. You celebrate a seasoned banker, you attract it. All right, so I'd like to also welcome the first Vice President, Professor Pius Olari Waju, FCIB. Thank you. And then I also like to specially welcome the second Vice President, Dr. Dele Alabi, FCIB. Permit me to be partial. I like to specially, specially welcome the only female in our office holders, you know, we have the office and we have office holders. The only female, please, can we be upstanding? I'm sorry, you. I'm sorry. Can we be upstanding? Can we be upstanding? <laughs> All right, welcome the national treasurer, Mrs. Mojisola Bakari at CRFCIB. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God. I just use my power, woman power now. <laughs> All right, I'd like to welcome the Registrar Chief Executive, Mr. Akimuraki OHCIB. Thank you, please clap. I'd like to prayerfully welcome the guest minister because it's Pastor Charles, so he's prayerfully welcome. Pastor Charles Panday, RCCG Regional Pastor Region 11, blessed family, thank you. We have a highly revered past president here, and I'd like to specially welcome Dr. Shegun I know FCIB. Please put your hands together. If you know FinTech in Nigeria, you should be clapping more for him. Good, thank you. I'd like to also welcome another professor in the house, Professor Shegun Ajibola, who is also our past president. Thank you very much. Oh, I cannot forget Professor Adewumi. He is a very, very uh, solid uh, past president and a member of the CBNC committee. Please put your hands together. He is a testament that you can have generations, several generations, very active. So I'm going to get to the point when, when I'm going to call out generation and I'll ask us to do something. Let's see which generation will win. All right, I'd like to also welcome all the chairman and management, managing directors who are present here or who have sent their representatives. I'd like to welcome the captains of industry who are here. We have um, Mr. and Mrs. Ju Chiemeka, executive director NGX. Please stand up for recognition. Thank you. Thank you very much. And then we also have our own very special person, Mr. Peter Ashade, FCIB, is a group MD CEO, United Capital PLC. Thank you. We have another woman in the house. This time I don't want to be partial, so it doesn't sound somehow. We have Mrs. Yemisi Adeshola, who is a former MD and regional head, Sunda Chartered Bank. So please, can we appreciate her? Right. So we also have um, 
past registrars and chief executives of CIB, and I'd like to especially welcome you. Please, all the members of Governing Council, we want to especially welcome you. Please be upstanding so we recognize you. Our Governing Council. <laughs> thank you, thank you, we together. All right, I'd like to welcome and especially recognize the fellows, associates, HCIB honorary senior members, microfinance certified bankers, and all other categories of memberships of CIBN. I'd like to especially welcome you. Please put your hands together for them. Put your hands together. They are the reason why we're here. CIBN is a membership-based organization. Thank you very much. At this point, I'd like to recognize members of the academic community. I also like to recognize the guest artists. Then the management and staff of CIBN. Please, management and staff of CIBN, put your hands together for yourself. All right, thank you very much. I'd like to also welcome guests, family, and friends of practice licensees who are here. And then we have another very special guest. I mean, people who are joining us virtually, you know, it's not easy to join an event virtually, but we have a good number of persons online. So those offline, can you please clap for those online? Those online, clap for those offline. Thank you. Thank you. We also have, we are compliant in this space. We have here uh, present the group chief compliance officer of Sterling Bank, Mr. We have Kelechi Woba. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. And so we have uh, gentlemen of the press. You know, if they don't cover us the right way, they can report that CIBN was doing a secret meeting and that's what people will interpret it to be. So let's clap for them so they can report the right thing. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Again, I'd like to very well um, welcome and recognize all the distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, please clap for yourselves. Clap for yourselves, thank you very much. So I'd like to uh, go on to invite the president for his opening remarks. But before I invite him, I want to feel the energy in this room again. So I will say Mary and I expect you to shout Christmas. So Mary, Mary, oh, that thing is not loud enough. You stand up, please now. Mary, Mary, correct. So at this point, I'd like to invite the president, the chairman of council, Dr. Ken Opera, PhD, FCIB, as he comes on stage to take the opening remarks. Please clap for him as he comes on stage. So much. I didn't know that you do this um, MCU. Maybe we'll be contracting you out <laughs> and it will be fee paying. Thank you. Let's just be upstanding for a second. I will enter his gate with thanksgiving in my I will enter his court with we praise. I will sing. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice from. Oh, he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I am so glad. I am I am so 
You may be seated. Thank you. Our guest minister for this evening, our own pastor, the pastor in charge of Region 11 of the Redeemed Christian Church, the Z family, my own pastor, Pastor Charles Bande. First Vice President of our Revard Institute, Professor Deji Olarewaju, FCIB. Second Vice President, Financial Guru, Mr. Dele Alabi, FCIB. The National Treasurer, our own Amazon, Mrs. Mojisola Bakare, FCIB. The Registrar Chief Executive, Mr. Ake Monakeo. Our referred past president, the bedrock that we stand. Professor Wale Adeumi FCIP. And that prof, thank you so much. Dr. Chigwaino OFR FCIP. The FinTech disruptor. Our erudite prof, Professor Chegu Ajibola, FCIB. My immediate boss, immediate past president, Dr. Bayo Olubemi, FCIB. Just got a fellow recently of the Chattered of Stock Brokers. Our fancy member that are here can see Mrs. Rafiat. Thank you. Dr. Don Obunna, thank you so much. Captains of Industry that are here. Executive Director of NGS. Thank Mrs. Jamaica. Thank you because we recognize the support you gave to us when we are at the stock exchange. Pira Ashade, the group MD of um, United Capital. Hello. Former MD of um, Standard Chatter, Miss, Mrs. Yemisi Adeshola, our own boss. Fellows and associates, our distinguished guests. Please permit me to recognize um, the protocol that has already been laid out. But the long speech is a period of gratitude to God. Because their gratitude determines their altitude. I looked at the Bible. And I saw that gratitude was mentioned 157 times. Thanksgiving was mentioned 72 times. If you add it up, it's about 229 times. All talking about the fact that you need to show gratitude. I don't know about you. But you think that today we have every reason to appreciate God, to thank this awesome God. I think you have opportunity to make some noise about that. It 
It's with great pleasure that I warmly welcome you all to this CIBN Evening of Songs, which is the fifth phase of it. I acknowledge and appreciate all our esteemed stakeholders from the country and across the globe that have made our time to join us at this program, including those that are joining us physically here and virtually. Psalm 95, verse 2. Psalm 95, chapter 2, verse 3 says, Let's come before him with thanks. Verse 3 says, Let's shout songs of joy to him. I'm particularly grateful to God for giving us the privilege to witness the end of another year. There's no doubt that the year has been tough and challenging on both locally and internationally. As we continue to see the changing landscape, the world continues to grapple with what is happening in the conflict between Russia and Ukraine, and recently between Israel and Hamas. Last year, there were so many tensions concerning the transition for this. But in all of this, we have reasons to thank God. We transited and the awesome God gave us victory in all time. The year 2023 is an exceptionally phenomenal year for Tara Institute of Banka. As we achieved outstanding successes in our various programs and activities, and we are quick to give all the glory to God who has made all this possible. In the year under review, we recorded an exponential growth in our membership. And the, for the first time in the history of the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, a membership strength grew by over 20,000 members. What is exciting about this is that 84% of this number at the age of 27 and below. That resonates with my agenda. The future is now. We recorded events that has been awesome the Institute celebrated this 60th anniversary this year with various programs and activities held across the country by our various state branches and national secretariat. We had the football matches, bankers' work, visit to orphanages, Thanksgiving services at the church and mosque, closing gong ceremony at the Nigeria Stock Exchange and the grand finale that happened at the 58th annual bankers dinner. I want to thank the chairman of that committee, Dr. Shegu Aino, for doing an excellent job. Thank you. At the end of the dinner, it's no longer in question that the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria 
has now been described as the Chatham House of Nigeria. After the dinner, I'm told that we had over 10 million people all over the world that watched at the various social platforms, the YouTube. And that night, Data the sort of bankers came the most highest build um, on YouTube as well as Twitter. And it continued to trend the next day. Even on the second day, it was the highest in Nigeria. And it was the platform that the Central Bank of Nigeria unveiled the economic blueprint for next year. It wasn't surprising that they described it as the Chatham House of Nigeria. Esteemed audience, today we have the real privilege of welcoming Pastor Charles Pande is also a professional banker, the regional pastor of Region 11 of RCC. Pastor Charles, you may not have remembered some few years ago, you came to this auditorium and you made some pronouncement was very pay, I paid attention to that and you said that this institute will be projected as the highest as the best institute in the all over the world I'm happy to say that today Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria is prepared as the best institute all over the world. And so we'll be listening to you as you lead us into the presence of God as we offer praise to the Almighty God for so much He has done for us. As an institute, as a body of banks, as individuals. I also want to welcome our revered past president, our guests that are here present, our office holders. Sometimes we meet very late. The management of the IBN, ably led by the Registrar Chief Executive, continue to work relentlessly. Why do we thank God? We have reason to thank God because God has kept us and we didn't have any reason to grieve. If not for anything, we have our past president, very strong, very healthy, very active, and very agile. That can be only attributed to God. You want to know why we have reason to thank God go to other professional bodies and you can count the number of past presidents that attend their event. As I conclude my remarks, may I encourage us all 
to reflect on the significance of this season. Christmas is the celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ, who exemplifies compassion, peace, love, and good tidings. As we celebrate this yearly tide, let us embody his character and spread his goodwill, not just during this festive season, but all through our lifetime. I pray that the peace which the Prince of Peace brought to the world will reign in our household as our nation and the world at large. Once again, I want to thank you all for your esteemed presence. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous 2024 in advance. May the good Lord bless you so abundantly. Thank you and bless. Thank you so much, sir. Amen to that prayer. Can we please put our hands together again? By clapping, we are confirming that we are aligned to the prayers. He said he wishes us a wonderful 2024. So put your hands together if you are aligned to that prayer. Thank you. Thank you. I, I skipped a person, somebody when I was introducing. I'd like to introduce Dr. Franklin Wu and recognize him. He is a faculty member of LBS, as well as a member of the Strategy and Advocacy Committee of CIBN. Thank you. Let's clap for him. Good. So um, something happened behind the scene. You know, just uh, I've been the one on the stage, but the men in the house said, no, it's not proper. It's equality we are preaching. Let's get a man on the stage. So we have a very wonderful and a veteran. He's very good on that in terms of stage management and all. I'd like to respectfully invite Mr. Joshua Murakio. He's running, he's humble, he's running. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. So he's going to take it up from here. Please clap for him now. Nah. Clap for him. Okay, let's do it this way. The women, clap for him. Okay, the men, clap for him. Your constituents, do you see what they are doing? <laughs> Please, can you put your hands together for this wonderful MC? Um, it's for this reason that we make sure we guard our job jealously because when you have opportunity for people like her to take over the mic, they do it very well. But I think it also speaks about what CIBN is doing, uh, grooming people entirely. It's a, please put your hands together for what CIBN is doing. Distinguished guests, ladies, Mr. Chairman, Merry Christmas. It's good to see you again. And all past president and executive of CIBN, it's a pleasure to do this once again. Merry Christmas to everyone. Merry Christmas. Okay, since you're not talking, perhaps can you look at someone close to you if the person is a bit dark? Tell them darkness cannot comprehend you. Just say it now. Say darkness cannot comprehend you. And if the person is a bit fair, say you are the light of the world. Let the person smile because you might just be the essay SA or commissioner or minister. Say, smile at me now. Please, once again, let's put our hands together for ourselves, ladies and gentlemen. Well, one of the major challenges in Lagos is traffic. And if not for Jesus, that is about to be given birth to in the next couple of weeks, I would have lost my call today in traffic. And I can tell you, if not for the fact that I'm a born-again Christian, let me tell you what I did. As soon as this man hit my bumper, um, I just remember when the pastor said, you need to be patient, you need to have peace, you need to follow peace with your neighbor. So when the man hit me, I just stopped and just smiled at him. I said, God bless you. Do you believe that? Um, you guys, you are trying to say that I am not from Lagos. That's what it means. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, without much ado, we'd like to have our first Bible lesson. 
which will be taken by the executive director NGX, Mr. Jude Chiemeka. It will be taken from Isaiah, from the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, from verse 2 to 7. Please put your hands together for him as it comes forward. Keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping. President and Chairman of Council CIBN, um, Dr. Ken Obara, FCIB, thank you so much for inviting us to be here this evening. Um, let me just stand on already well-established protocol to say that like actually attracts like. Uh, my wife and I are members of the Redeemed Christian Church, uh, this year of David Parish, and we're truly delighted to be here this evening. So here begins the reading of God's word, taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 2 to 7. The people who walk in darkness, we see a great light. For those who live in the land of deep darkness, a light will shine. You will enlarge the nation of Israel, and its people will rejoice. They will rejoice before you as people rejoice at the harvest. And like warriors dividing the plunder, for you will break the yoke of their slavery and lift the heavy burden from their shoulders. You will break the oppressor's rod, just as you did when you destroyed the army of Midian. The boots of the warrior and the uniforms bloodstained by war will all be burned. They will be fuel for fire. For a child is born unto us, a son is given to us, the government will rest on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His government and his peace will never end. He will rule with fairness and justice, from the throne of his ancestor David for all eternity. The passionate commitment of the Lord's heaven's armies will make this happen. And may God bless the reading of his word. Once again, let's put our hands together for Mr. Chiemeka. Please, I noticed that while uh, the chairman, or the president and chairman of council um, was stepping out of the podium, um, some young, young boys and girls were taking over the, the stage. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, to serenade us with Parara Music, let me introduce to you Parara Music student. Put your hands together for them, ladies and gentlemen. Thank 
Amazing performance. The Bible says, out of the mouth of babies, we have ordained wisdom. And while they were playing, I just felt like I can do what they did. Yes, in the spirit. Yes. Yes, I believe that I can. But what they did is exceptional. Please put your hands together for them once again. I'd like to recognize the Executive Director, Echo Bank Nigeria, Mr. Kola Adeliki. He's here with us. You're welcome, sir. So I remember last year vividly, and that was when we realized that Mr. President and Chairman of Cancer, CIBN, um, Dr. Karen Opara, FCIB, does not only know how to bring about the best institutes in Nigeria, but he's also a singer, he's, got, he's multi-talented, he literally took over the choir last year. So I'm looking for what he's going to do this year. Perhaps you will replicate what you did last year. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you God's choir for the first rendition. Please put your hands together for them. Merry Christmas to every one of you. Please, just look at your neighbor. Give me, give your neighbor a sweet smile. Yes, because the Lord is on the throne. Things are already done. Well, the first thing we are going to sing is titled "Oh God, I Have in Christ." If you look back and where we are now, where I come from. You know that it can only be God. Mm -hmm. There's no point that salary can sustain. It's only grace of God. <laughs> so when we are going to take a common tune for the first verse. So that you join us. Each of the songs we are singing, anyone you know, join us. They said the keys, praise God. Jesus, praise God. Even this, praise God. But my prayer is that nobody will praise God in peace. I, 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 I,
This morning is so marvelous. We are the wish of the wind. 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 For that wonderful performance, please put your hands together for God's Choir once again. Thank you, our director. I, I remember you very well. Uh, of course, <laughs> one thing that comes to mind is when you see a person and when he or she prays, you know exactly what he wants from God. So when the choir director said, 
You know, in this country, salary, you know, they do person again. You understand what is bothering him. And of course, when he said, let us pray for peace so that we can sleep with our eyes closed. How many of you believe that God can provide peace? He's able to do exceedingly abundantly more than we could ask or think. If you do believe that, say amen. Once again, let's put our hands together for God's choir, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to recognize the Executive Director, Coronation Merchant Bank, Mrs. Funke Ladimiji, HCIB. She's here with us. You're well, welcome, ma'am. I'd like to crave your indulgence, ladies and gentlemen. Can we please bring out our phone? I'd like to see if you've got your phone with you. We like to trend, even if it's for five minutes. We just want to make sure it is not Tinubu, that man from River State. But we want CIBN to trend. So can you, can I crave your indulgence to take a selfie? And the hashtag will be CIBN Sings 5.0. We can post it on Instagram, Twitter, Anywhere we're comfortable with. Can we do that now? Selfie. I'll do it with it. In fact, I need to help this one. Let me say, um, can we say Merry Christmas? And that isn't, once again, Merry Christmas. Okay, take your own selfie and let us post it. Um, I'll be watching how we perform as we do this. Uh, Register, I've not seen you do yours. Oh, okay, beautiful. So, having done that, please let's put our hands together for ourselves again, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, um, it's time for us to have the next Bible lesson. It will be taken from the book of Luke, chapter 2, from verse 8 to 14. Our second vice president, CIBN, Mr. Dili Alabi. FCIB will help us with that. Please put your hands together for him as it comes forward. Keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping. Praise the Lord. Our second Bible reading for this glorious evening of songs is taken from the book of Luke, chapter 2, verses 8 to 14. Luke, chapter 2, verses 8 to 14. And I read. Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping each keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Verse 10. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. For the world, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of, of David, the Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes lying in a manger. Verse 13, and suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. May the Lord bless the reading and understanding of his word in the mighty name of Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, let's Put our hands together for the Lord. I am sure you're wondering, um, dressed in Nigerian attire as a mixture, perhaps that's the reason why they're performing um, a medley for us. Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome uh, for this medley, Parara Music Group. Put your hands together for them. Um. Thank you. 
Now, before I take my leave, you know, we have people to go to the house again. We go to the house again. See the way he looks at you. See the way he feels at me. You can't even have a matter of all right here. You can't have so <laughs>
I, I just want everything to simmer down a little bit because I need to catch my breath. I've been dancing since. Yes. Uh, I've been dancing. Honestly, um, Mr. President, uh, there's this set of people, um, they are over there. I, I think they've given them the 13th month. I, I just want to ask, Mr. President, can you include me in the... Because these people this side, I think they are they are your staff. Uh, they are very excited. I don't know whether it's because of Christmas or because of the ex 
extra amount. But but whatever the case is, um, I think um, Christmas is a good time of the year. Please let's put our hands together for the Lord. Um, so I was dancing the other time, and I had a sound. It's it, the sound was bah, I now respected myself. I now stood still. And I remember the word of the, the Lord of the Lord. Stand still. <laughs> for I am with you. Yes. But I think it's a good time to just shout hallelujah. Um, for so many people, um, if you're here at this time and you're in Nigeria and you're existing in peace and you have not been blown away by what happened in 2023, I think it's a, it's a fantastic time to just acknowledge God. Can we just shout hallelujah once again? While I was about to get into the spirit, and I now remembered I'm not the pastor. So let me introduce the pastor. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for an occasion like this, we need to be exalted. And interestingly, um, the birth of Jesus um, came with good tidings. And that for me is very significant. How many of us are looking forward to the gift of God at this time of the year? Can we identify? Ah, I thought I was the only one. Our prayers will be answered in Jesus' name. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to welcome RCCG Regional Pastor, blessed, ascent, blessed family, for the word of exhortation, Pastor Charles Vandel. Put your hands together for him, ladies and gentlemen. Keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping. Make him welcome. Well, welcome, sir. Amen. Let's just rise up. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done in my life. I say thank you. Thank you. So press our time, press the one minute, two minutes. Press into our times. I don't know if you know, but it's just about 16 days to the end of 2023, and you are still alive. You are hopeful to make 2024. Just lift that hand on to remember, and just for just 30 seconds, just thank God for January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. This is December already. Daddy, I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Daddy, I'm not taking it for granted. Your mercy is over us. Your mercy is over our families. Your mercy is over Nigeria. Your mercy is over the Chatham Institute of Bankers. We are so grateful. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. For the few minutes, we will be making an exhortation. Please do what you are supposed to do. And let it be a night to remember to your glory. In Jesus' much less than we have prayed. I thought somebody's amen could be louder than that. And if your hands are still working, just be if your voice is still working, it will be the best. It will be sad and hallelujah. God bless you. Please be seated. I just want to formally say, I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you. Merry Christmas. 
I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Having said that, I really must thank the Almighty God for the honor and what I consider an exceptional privilege to be here to just exhort in a few words tonight. Please help me thank God who has given me that privilege now. Having done that, I want to really, really want you to help me thank the president and chairman of council, our council. Praise the name of the Lord. It's our council. And that's our own, Dr. Ken and his wife. Thank you very much for leading the way and for giving us this privilege. We celebrate him. And I was really privileged that the, the next in line as it were, Professor. Thank you so much. Let's celebrate the prof. And then uh, also next, next on the line, second vice. <laughs> Dr. <laughs> Love God bless you. The treasurer, thank you. And then all the people, the past presidents, please help me celebrate them for us. And then all the council members and every banker here, I want to say God bless you in Jesus' name. And those who are not bankers who came to celebrate with us, God bless you too in Jesus' name. My job was to give, I, I, I just saw the paper again and it's exhortation. It's not preaching. Amen. And so for a few minutes, I'll be exhorting as the Lord will want me to do. But I really don't think much needs to be said because if there was one thing that as I stood there, it really pleased my heart. I had not done any other work except banking and pastoring. So from age 20, after leaving the university, the only thing I had done is banking until I became pastor. Praise God. So one thing that had always been on my heart those days had been for bankers to be able to sit, stay together and just praise God and acknowledge God. In fact, one of those years when I was in Onicha, the very first outreach we did with Pastor Adeboye was with bankers. In fact, that was my real first encounter with him. We gathered the bankers in Onicha for a, a breakfast meeting. And as far then as it is, I can still remember that day we, you know, when we were excited, it was a breakfast meeting. We were going up and down till quarter to 12. And then we handed him the microphone. And he said, you know, this is meant to be a breakfast meeting. And if it gets to 12 o'clock, then it becomes lunch. And so for the first time, I saw within 15 minutes, this man shared the word of God that I can remember to today. The title was, when your storm comes. And within those 15 minutes, people surrender their lives to Jesus. And we close that meeting at 12 noon. I said, wow, this is the kind of grace I desire. And I pray that I should be able to do it less today in Jesus' name. But it has always been my joy to see bankers, professionals big together for me. And you have given me this privilege. I'm really, really grateful. Once more, I appreciate the CIBM for me. Now, so rejoice in the Lord. That's the theme. And Christmas. Oh, I love Christmas. Indeed, this occasion, this Sunday is the Christmas carol in my own church. So, this is like launching me officially. Hallelujah. Christmas is a time of rejoicing. Hallelujah. 
So what will God want me to exhort today? Number one is that rejoice in the Lord is a divine imperative and command. Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. I just want to read that and I want you to take it that it's not just something as you go into the rest of this year, as you go into the new year, you can say, and I want us to say it so it sinks into our spirit, that God is saying to me, saying to somebody, what's he saying? Let me put it there. I wanted them to put it in on there. Philippians chapter 4, verse 4, if it's possible. It says very clearly, it says, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say what? Can we do it together? Rejoice in the Lord. And again, that is the instruction from God. Why would God be telling us this? Because there are a thousand and one reasons why we may not want to rejoice. You hear all the things that have been said. If you get out of this kind of place and you meet the next person, tell you how tough things are. Many have challenges that they, have, they think it's insurmountable. And God tells us as we are dancing to launch this season, what is God saying to us? And again, Having said that, there are so, so many reasons. Things that want to make us not to rejoice. My assignment, once I finish this, is to pray that everything that is in your life that is countering God's instruction that does not want you to rejoice, that God will deal with it. When will God do it? I you believe that? I, I have no doubt about that. Because the Bible says that God, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, who are like them that dream, then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. If God doesn't turn the situation, it becomes very difficult to sing. And this Christmas, you will sing. Whether the devil likes it or not, you will sing. Whether the economy says it or not, you will sing. Whether the government policy says it or not, you will sing. Whether the <laughs> exchange rate is not as we would have desired, we will sing. And as you sing at this Christmas carol, the rest of this year, you will sing in Jesus' name. I'm concluding. The other matter there was, I suddenly found, while you wrote, rejoice in the Lord. There is that last one. It says, rejoice in the Lord always. How can a person be in a state of continuous rejoicing? I like to rejoice and I'm rejoicing. Somebody used to say that joy is not based on the circumstances around. Amen. It is happiness that is based on, you know, those days we used to say harp for happiness. So if you drink a good harp, you might be happy, but it cannot give you joy. Hallelujah. But God expects us to be people who are continually rejoicing. How can that be? Because if you are not rejoicing, you will be getting weaker and weaker. Because the Maya did say, the joy of the Lord is our strength. So it is important for us to be in continual state of rejoicing. How 
is that possible? If you read the Christmas story, you will find that the birth of Jesus Christ heralds joy. Praise the name of the Lord. On earth, it heralded joy. They said, we bring you good news, good tidings of great joy is past. I want to tell you today that it is when Jesus Christ is birthed in your life. And I want you to hear this because nothing I am saying you are being here today is not by happenstance. There are a thousand and one reasons why you should not have been here, whether you are on a physical or you are listening virtually. Somehow God decided to grab your attention. And he's saying, do you want to be able to rejoice continually? Then you must be sure that Jesus is birthed in your life, that he lives in you. And this is important. If you look at the book of John, chapter 15, verse 7, when Jesus was telling the story of the prodigal son, whenever a person returns home to God, he said there is rejoicing in heaven. I plead with you, and this is what he sent me to beg somebody. I said I came an exhortation. It was one of those things, those days we thought that to be cool, to be somebody of value, that you didn't need Jesus. I came to tell you today that your future is tied around your having Jesus. And if you are not sure, that's all I was sent to do, to tell you. That you can have joy here continually and be part of joy in heaven. And you will be singing all the days of your life. If the joy giver is in you. And today... I'll allow you to make a decision if you have not. A decision you will remember for good. And I'm ending here. I was a very, very young boy banker. Straight from university. Got the best of education. It's not now in those days, you know, you, you, know, you can see white hair. So I said, okay. And things were good. I mean, training then, young graduate training, international bank. I started with the bank then, it was BCCI, Bank of Credit and Commerce. It was happening, we had money. Got this and that, and I thought, you know, to be cool, you be there to just run around. But one day, because it got to the point I couldn't in good conscience be going to church. I had good house, I had good car. So on that Sunday morning, I didn't know what drove me out of my house. I drove to a dwell, was driving. I, was, I didn't plan to go anywhere. I just heard some people singing on some. And I turned my car, drove into the place. And the pastor was saying something like this. And I did not know how I took a decision that I was going to invite Jesus into my heart. Hey, as I got there and I was getting to the door, something, something to you, look, don't waste your time. Don't belong to this crowd. You can never, this is what I can tell you, it is not by your power. Don't be afraid. If you receive Jesus today, I can assure you, 
you will sing for the rest of your life. And you will sing in eternity. So, I'll give that opportunity. Number two, I'll just pray for us on any matter that had been programmed into the days ahead to make us not to have joy, anything to cause us weeping. It will be taken away. And I'll just pronounce a word of blessing. Is that good enough? Can we please bow our hearts? Maybe you want to take a decision. All eyes, these are very personal times. I mean, so if you want to say, Pastor, today, this 15th day of December, I am conscious that this thing you are saying, I think I need Jesus. Either this will be your first time or you have done before, but it doesn't look like you could, but I want to pray with you. If you will, where you are, you just put your hand up or you put it on your chest and you close your eyes and talk to him. And what will you be saying to him? Very personal thing to say. Say, Lord Jesus, you know me. I am a sinner. My life is not very joyful. I need you. Please come into my heart. Come and be my Lord. Come and be my Savior. This Christmas, be bettered in my life. I am ready to follow you for the rest of my life. Take over. Change me. And put me on the path to heaven. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, I pray for as many, whether they are on site here or they are virtually, they join us virtually. The power for salvation is in Jesus Christ. Let today be a day somebody will testify about that Jesus came into my heart and my life became totally transformed. Deliver that one from the power of sin and release the power to live as a child of God. And as I begin to pronounce blessings today, let those ones be partakers. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. If you don't mind, please, can we just rise up? I want to just say a prayer. Let me explain why I need to say this prayer. In the book of Esther, at the beginning of the year, as many of us may not know, there were divinations made, programmed that by the 13th day of the 12th month, that there was going to be sorrow in the nation among the peoples. The people probably never knew. They were just living as if. But thank God that there was a reversal. And what was programmed for sorrow became turned to joy and gladness. I'm going to pray whatever has been programmed in the realm of the spirit against you, against your family, against anything that concerns you for weeping, for sorrow, that the almighty God will reverse it. And from now on, it will be turned to rejoicing. Father, I stand in agreement with all your children. And I ask right now, by the power in the name of Jesus, I decree a total cancellation of every evil that have been programmed even in the lives and the families of the ones saying amen now in the name of Jesus. Everything that has been programmed for evil in the banking industry, today we reverse it. And we say, let, instead of weeping, let there be joy. Instead of death, let there be life. 
I pray, instead of going down, let there be a lifting up. In the name of Jesus. Father, I ask now the blessings of God to close this year. The blessings of God that does not add sorrow. Lord, under this open heaven, let it be released on everyone in Jesus' name. Let this year end well. And let next year be better. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' much less name, we have prayed. And I say, God bless you. Can we clap for Jesus? Can we clap for Jesus? I want to say thank you very much, Pastor Pandel, for that. Please, can we have a seat? Thank you. Um, rejoice in the Lord always, and I say rejoice. Yes, um, I, I think I can, I now understand the reason why CIBN is doing well um, amongst other institutes in the country, and it's very visible. I think you acknowledge God in, your, in everything you do. I think that we can attribute for the reason why um, while some people are saying there's a casting down, you are saying there's a lifting up. Will I say I'll come join CIBN or, or something? Can you shout hallelujah? Because it's been a while we've been clamoring to have the CBN governor speak. He hasn't granted any interview. I'm a financial reporter, and we've been asking, in fact, the director was removed for information, I mean, was transferred to a place where they call um, Babylon. <laughs> so we're wondering, um, when is he going to speak? As at this morning, inflation is about 28.2%, um, about 6.7% from last year, November. Um, so someone needs to speak. There's a cash crunch. There's so many issues to speak on. And how CIBN did it, perhaps is one of you, but I don't think so. Some CBN governors will just hide and just stay somewhere. But he was able to come. So I think there's a God factor working for CIBN, please. So since this is 5.0, I'd like to be invited for 10.0 as well. What do you think? Thank you very much. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, this wonderful choir, that's why it is called God's Choir. <laughs> and I like our choir master, our director. Please put your hands together for him. Commander, yes. Please, for Hallelujah Chorus, please make welcome once again God's choir. Join together for them, ladies and gentlemen. Hallelujah, Kuros, it's time. You hear Hausa? You hear Igbo? You hear Yoruba? Inside the Lekros. And you also hear English so that those who don't understand any of this language will carry something. My prayer that your effort for your family will not be in vain. Hey. Oh, oh, Hallelujah, 
Uh, thank you, Commander Godde. Uh, but we'd like to have the president um, and his delectable wife and past president. Please, all of all <laughs> officials, please, can you just um, let's? We need to make this inclusive. Yes, ma'am. Please, sir, vice president, um, ma'am. Let's join them. Um, we realize that um, having your voice in, in this choir will bring about the, yes, um, but it complete. Please, <laughs> as soon as I heard yes from the, sir, you can join them too. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes. 
Yes, we are just rehearsing for heavenly. Uh, yes, heaven. I'm sorry, that's. Governing council members, please. Please join them, please. Thank you. Please. With the kind of voice that will be, be on the stage, I think I need to come down here. Thank you very much. Please, yes. To, to, <laughs> you, you can take any part. Um, um, uh, Mr. President, I, I, from your voice, I think this will be okay for you. Madam, you can go for auto. Prof, sir, uh, I think you can go for tenor. Yeah. And Madam, it is soprano. Yes. Um, I, I will be assisting commander from this side. Uh, Moving from the kingdom of this world. Amazing! I'm pleased with your heads together for the best choir on this side of heaven. <laughs> this is the best harmonious choir ever. Please put your hands together for them, for Mr. President, Chairman of Council, and Eskos of CIBN. That's a wonderful performance. Keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping. Honestly speaking, 
Um, some of them they were torn, torn um, death by, by this rendition. They are, they are, they are torn, my tone came, came to. Ladies and gentlemen, please once again put your hands together for. Well, um, he didn't want me to do the introduction, but I will do it. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to invite for the vote of thanks the registrar of this great institute. Hello, Coins. I'm able, Mr. Akin Murakio. Put your hands together for him, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. All is well that ends well, they say. And this is where we will be drawing the curtain of this very special program. But we will not end without saying a very big thank you to everyone who has contributed to making this program a huge success. If you are happy to be alive, happy to be here, happy to see the end of this year, please let's give ourselves a warm round of applause. That applause can be louder as we celebrate the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, and we rejoice in his presence. Thank you very much. I'd like to say a very big thank you on behalf of the President and Chairman of Council of our great institute, Dr. Ken Okwara, to everyone who has joined us today to celebrate this fifth edition of the Evening of Songs. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, as you heard in the president's speech, a lot has happened this year. But in all, we are still standing strong, waxing stronger, enjoying and rejoicing in the Lord. One more time, let us appreciate the almighty God, the one who made it happen for us, let us say a big thank you to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say it like you mean it. On that note, I'd like to say a very big thank you to our president and chairman of council who has provided the leadership and the enabling environment for all that is happening to happen. Our president is indeed a very magnanimous man, a man who is future-focused and value-driven. And so everything that has happened this year happened because he has submitted himself to the will of God and is lead, God is leading and we are following. One more time, let us appreciate Mr. President and his beautiful wife for being worthy instruments in the hand of God to see all that we have seen. And the president could not have done that without the support of the office holders. The office holders are solidly behind the president helping him to execute the future agenda. Distinguished guests, help me appreciate our office holders, Professor Pius Olariwaju, Mr. Dolia Labi, and Mrs. Mujisola Bakari Asero. Please give them a warm round of applause. And of course, you know, in the Chinese Strong Bankers of Nigeria, we do not play with our elders. And just somewhere the day before yesterday, we were joking that we have our forefathers and we have our ancestors. But God, guess what? The ancestors have said they are not forefathers. In fact, they are not fathers, they are Gen Zs. So help me appreciate our Gen Z first presidents, beginning with Professor Wale Adewumi. Daddy, please stand up. Is he not Gen Z? Please appreciate our Gen Z first president. And Dr. Shegu, I know, please be up standing, sir. Gen Z, you doubt it, daddy, please step forward, step forward. See, 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 Gen Z. <laughs> and then Professor Shegu Ajibola, our Gen Z, fantastic. And then Dr. Bayo Williams, oh, look at me, the real Gen Z. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'd also like to appreciate all distinguished members of the Governing Council. They have been a very strong pillar of support. Members of Governing Council here present, please stand up for recognition. I've seen Mr. Odutola, Dr. Don Obona, Mrs. Onitiri, and Mr. DMO. Please let me appreciate them, wonderful people. They have been very, very supportive. We'd like to thank our Father in the Lord. He's indeed a Father. Each time we call him, he's always there to answer us. 
you, you will amaze you that Daddy is a member of the Chala Institute of Bankers of Nigeria. He's our revered HCIB. Let's appreciate Pastor Pando. Sitting with him in this auditorium is a rare privilege. If you go to his church and you want to see him, uh, it might take you one hour. But to give you free and express entry, mention CIBN. You will see him in two minutes. Let's appreciate Daddy for that wonderful privilege. We'd like to celebrate and appreciate the captains of industries here present, the chairman and managing directors of banks, CEO of banks here present, Mr. Dele, Mr. Kola Deleke, representing the MDC of Eco Bank and is an executive director himself. We appreciate you. And we indeed appreciate all the friends and families who are here to celebrate with us, all associates, fellows, and indeed um, honorary senior members and all the eminent personalities who have come from far and near to celebrate with us this evening. We appreciate you. And I'd like to celebrate the choir, the special artists, all those who have performed and entertained us here this evening. Please help me appreciate the performing artists They've done wonderfully well this evening. We also like to thank and appreciate very special people joining us on the virtual platform. Please let me appreciate all our virtual audience. Let's make some noise for them. They've been very wonderful and we appreciate you. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I'd also like to thank gentlemen of the press. We have quite a number of them in this auditorium and we believe they will report us rightly. Okay, you can see the virtual audience. We have quite a number of them there. And we indeed thank you for keeping a date with us this evening. And so as I wrap, don't forget that at the beginning, the president did thank us. And he said thank you to us. So all I'm doing is bringing the balance. And that reminds me of the story of a very big man, a great man. He said to his wife, go out there and say, uh, we are grateful to the people out there. And so the wife went out and said, it was going around each of them. We are great. We are great. We are great. And the husband was looking from the roof. Say, madam, what are you telling them? Say, ah, you told, I told them what you asked me to do now. What did you say? He said, I told them we are great. I said, no, go back and say, we are grateful. Say it again, we are grateful. So the woman came and said, daddy, oh, great, here come, full real. Great air con, full air rail, great air con, full air rail. Please help me turn to your right and to anybody. Every grand daddy, great air con, full air rail, great air con, full air rail, great air con. Thank you, God bless you all. Merry Christmas, Nabi. Put your hands together for Mr. Muraki once again. Yeah, for those of you that didn't understand what he said, he said the great that I told you before. I'm balancing it with the food. Yes, great. For you too, I'm giving you great. <laughs> okay, um, this is about it for this year, 5.0. Isn't it been wonderful? Amazing. Please put your hands together for the Lord, ladies and gentlemen. So this choir hasn't gone yet. Uh, they will help us with the CIBN anthem. And of course, we wish you a Merry Christmas and that's where we wrap it up. Please, ladies and gentlemen, it's been wonderful doing this. Mrs. Bakari, please help us with a closing prayer. Please. While she comes, um, it's been a pleasure doing this. Um, always. My name is Joshua Murakio. Um, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mrs. Bakari once, once again at FCIB. You're welcome, ma'am. Please let us rise and pray. In Jesus' mighty name, everlasting King of glory, eternal rock of ages. Father Lord, we are grateful. We thank you for your presence here tonight. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for your presence in our lives from the beginning of this year to this moment. And we are grateful, Lord, that you continue to be with us in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we glorify your holy name for the President, Chairman of Council, every member of CIBN, past presidents. We are grateful, Lord, for the man of God that you blessed us with today to lead us back into Christ for those who have backslid. 
Father, may we continue to know you and be full of your greatness in the mighty name of Jesus. You paid the greatest price for us, Jesus Christ, by laying your life for us. And we know that our lives will continue to be easy because of that. Father, we'll continue to be connected to you in Jesus' mighty name. Spirit of the living God, as we end this year, we are going to end this year well. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, you'll continue to be with us in Jesus' mighty name. In your word, you say we will lift up our eyes onto the hills and our help will continue to come from you. That shall be our testimony in Jesus' mighty name. Father, Lord, in the matter of Nigeria, I know you are doing great and mighty things. And we pray that when others are saying that there's a casting down, we shall prophesy to your lifting in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We pray for our family. We pray for our husbands, our wives, our children. Father, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, I said, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, as we end this year, none shall be missing in the mighty name of Jesus. And as we are saying Happy New Year, in, from the 1st of January, we will say it in glory in Jesus' mighty name. We seal this prayer. All the praises that we have given here today, we seal them in the blood of Jesus. Let your blood continue to speak for us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Can somebody shout hallelujah? I said somebody shout hallelujah to the King of Kings, to the Lord of Lords, to the I am that I am. Please put our hands together once again for our mommy, for that powerful prayer. I pray for indulgence before the choir. At the end of this, we've got um, a stand outside. We'll pray for indulgence just to help with photographs we'd like to take pictures so at the end of this performance we'll just preserve just beside the hall here um i can remember pictures from last year as well thank you very much over to you the bank of it's a Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, and a holy new year. We change this way, we will be more quiet, we are here. 